Hello, Edge here with the uh, Super Mario World. Actually, with Super Mario World running on the ViewSonic G Tab. As you can see, it uh, it works. Now, um, I've always stunk at this game. Honestly, I'm I'm not even joking. So, uh, as you can see here, you've got your choices right up here. You know your up and downs. Your A, B, and uh, X, Y buttons over here. Your right and left, um, those those buttons on the top, those are right here, right and left. So now, uh, let's see what happens here. One player game. Ah, see? I stink at this. I... I hate to admit it, it's been so long since I've played this game that I really don't remember how to do it. Ha! Got one! See, I don't remember how to get up there. Uh-huh, ah! I'm falling. Nah. Oh, there, okay, there we go. Oops. Okay. What? Ah! All right, so, I mean, you know, as you can see, it's, it's pretty quick. It's pretty smooth. There's no glitching or anything. Ah! Good thing I've got some Mario lives left. Because I stink at this. My... Oh no! What, 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 what did I do? My 20 year old self would be kicking my butt right now. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. The point is, uh, super... Uh, the SNES Roid or whatever they call this. Uh, I actually went ahead and bought this um, this emulator because there's a game uh, that I really, really used to like on the Super Nintendo called uh, Aerobiz. Um, it's a game that my friends and I used to play while uh, when I was in the Marines, and we used to sit around uh, drinking and pretending we were the CEOs of big airlines. So anyway, a couple of neat little things that you can do here. Um, there's net play. I have not played with that at all. Um, you can save your game. So some games that don't support saving, like Aerobiz, you can save the state of the game where you're at and come back and pick it up later. You can even do screenshot. So there we go. I just got a screenshot of, uh, of that right there. Uh, let's see what other choices we have. We've got load and save, like I said, settings. And uh, your audio settings. Um... You, know, you can change your aspect ratio. Right now I've got it set to TV, of course. Um, scaling mode. You can have it stretched or scaled or two times or whatever. I have mine set to scaled. Uh, you can enable transparency. Um, enable resolution change. And then of course you've got your fast forward speed, frame skip, max frame skip, screen refresh rate, and so forth. Um, your input settings touch the screen to fire that's pretty cool trackball is trackball is d-pad uh, we don't have a trackball on here so that doesn't matter um, key mappings you can map certain keys to hardware buttons but uh, I'll be honest on this device I don't know how that works so well but uh, net play settings if you wanted to do some net play let's see what these other settings are here Screen upside down, orientation, full screen mode, quick load on start, bunch of neat stuff on here. So anyway, um, as you can see, it's super smooth, uh, runs really well. It, um, you know, to my eye, it looks like it's playing about the same speed as it did on the, on uh, on the TV when I actually had a 
Super Nintendo way back in the day, and uh, you know, I wonder if there's any kind of um, Super Nintendo controllers that are USB. It'd be cool to be able to hook one of those up to this. That would be like the ultimate travel uh, travel device. But anyway, let's see. To exit out of here, how do we do this? I guess like that. We close. So to choose another game, um, if I wanted to choose another uh, thing like Aerobiz, and that's how it loads up right there, just, just like that. So here we go, and now it's loading up the Aerobiz uh, screen. But I'll be honest, this uh, this game would be very boring to demo, so we'll just get out of that. But anyway, so there's there's how uh, Aerobiz works. I'm not Aerobiz. I'm sorry. Uh, the, um, uh, what's it called, S-N-E-S-O-I-D, or SNES-O-I-D, that's how that works. Um, as you can see here, I'm, I'm still rocking the old, uh, Vegan 1.00 Beta 1. Um, I've changed my wallpaper to kind of reflect the fact that I'm on a different ROM, just so things look different, uh, You'll know right away by looking at my videos that I'm on a different ROM because I have a different wallpaper. So, anyway, this was just a short video to uh, demo S Nesroid or Snesoid or S Nesoid. However, I don't even know how it's pronounced. But uh, anyway, there you go. Um, I hope that helps. I hope that kind of uh, shows how that works for uh, for everyone. And keep the comments and questions coming. I'll be making a couple more videos tonight of a couple other things that people have been asking about. And I hope to have those up shortly. As always, edge out.